I just want to say what's up. It's your boy, Mick Cisco. So, uh, I'm in SeaTac on my way to San Francisco. This rancher guy, Florida man. <laughs> Yo, man. And I saw him dropping gym. I was like, Florida man? And yeah, it was cool. We had a conversation and it was good. We just like talked about Pokemon Go for a little bit. And also as a milestone, it is episode 100. Mwah. Moving to San Francisco. Well, not moving, but moving my butt there temporarily. Hi, it's your boy Mega Cisco. Guess what? It's episode 100. This means it's time for some positivity. Woo! Right now, we're hanging out in San Francisco in Vernal Heights. And, you know, I've been kind of like under the weather a little bit, but you know, I'm back. I'm back. I'm feeling good. It's like, you know, you have control of your actions, your words, and I'm trying to like, you know, not let other things affect me because it's just a lot of bad just carry on and it's not cool and I just want to play this game which I have a lot of fun with this Pokemon Go game. Go Team Mystic! Yeah! But yeah, I mean also like people feeling weird about like stats and stuff but there's this awesome quote by Theodore Roosevelt like the, what was it called? Comparison is the thief of happiness, something like that. So just do you, boo. Do you. Always do you. I'm not even sure that quote's right, but it's it's somewhere in that area. Google it. There's a Google A. Goggles. But yeah, there's a gym here. It's beautiful. You can see all of San Francisco. There's like Candlestick Park there. There's Golden Gate Bridge. There's the Bay Bridge. Uh, Transamerica Building. It's just like, I'm here because I want to feel smaller. This bench I'm sitting on makes me feel smaller than that. The... Real estate we can see here is a bigger number than I can even comprehend. It's great. And we're gonna be catching some Pokemon. I'm not sure if we're gonna have the time, but I wanna take you to, yes, and you the one holding the camera. I wanna take you to the wharf just to see what that's about. Cause I haven't been back to San Francisco since, oh, before Pokemon Go, but yeah, not since the advent of Pokemon Go. So I'm excited to see what this crazy place is all about. All right, but right now, when I have some smear goals, I need to donate to a good cause. So I'm gonna go take care of that. Okay, we're about to close out this video. Like, I know it's pretty short, but whatever. You know, had a good day here in San Francisco. Got to hang out with an old friend, Japan. What up, Jeff? My name is Jeff. And we're here at the Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco. We're just uh, doing like, a little 20 minute grind. Let me see if I can pull out like a cool screen recording of what we got to see here. I mean, it's just nice playing in other places because it's just nice to expand your world and be in new places, see new things, experience all the cool stuff. But I wanna go back to that quote again. Uh, Comparison is a thief of joy, you know? Yeah. Oh, a whale. Is it shiny? Nope. Anyway, I'm distracted. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just, uh... Because sometimes I get, like, disheartened about stats or whatever. But then it's like, no, I just gotta do me. And that makes me happy. Like, I have how many catches I have. I have many, you know, shiny side up that I have. And I'm, 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 I gotta be happy with that. Because if I'm not, I'll just feel sad. And even though I do shiny gloat to make you feel bad, I don't do it maliciously. I do it in a sense of love and happiness that I have one and a little bit that you don't, but I'm just being real, <laughs> but yeah, it's still not shiny. And yeah, <clears throat> but this game has got like brought me a lot of joy. I'm still keep playing, I'm still staying positive and yeah, I hope you find, because I know a lot of people are like, they're just like kind of slogging through the game like oh, I gotta get my daily stop my daily catch but you know for me this this game does give me joy it sparks joy it does <clears throat> and yeah it's one big big shout out to the boba tea that we had today that's minus one on the boba tea dead still only one more and after this grind sesh we're gonna 
go get some in and out Burger. <laughs> and I'm excited. I haven't had an In-N-Out Burger in about six months, so, you know. An Alaskan guy can dream that we can get burgers. And I'm glad it wasn't shipped to me or anything. It's like nice and fresh. I'm about that light, about that freshness light. So, if you continue grinding, if anything happens shiny wise, I'll let you know. But other than that, this is my 100th episode. Just want to be like, yeah, find you, do you, what keeps you happy in the game. Whatever, if you're a collector, if you're like a stats person, it's, you know, or the community aspect, people you see around when you're doing raids. There's uh, just so much to do. There's no end game, but the end game is something you create by yourself. So, and that this game speaks to me because you can choose how it's how you want to play it. There's no best at something. I mean, you can like you know make arbitrary stuff, but whatever. But for me, I'm the best at being me. There's no other Mega Siskos out there. There's no other Alaskans going out there doing this, you know. So, but if you want to, I don't want to like discourage you. Go out there, see the world. It's crazy. It's great. You meet so many awesome people. So, my monologue is over. Smooches. Thanks for sticking with me. 100 episodes. Love you guys. All 300 of you. Yes, I counted. Don't worry. 301. Shoulder shrug. Okay, have a good night, and be excellent. See you next time, Tar. Wait, 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 don't, don't do that. There you go.